Hi, I'm Garrett Oliver, brewmaster of the Brooklyn Brewery. As I like to say, I'm the liquid. So this is the room the liquid comes from. Now most people have no idea what beer actually is. So I'm going to give you the short version of what beer is. Now we start off with barley malt. And when you crush malted barley and mix it with hot water at very specific temperatures, those enzymes go to work. It's called saccharification. This is a temperature around 150 degrees where the natural enzymes are going to break down the starches into sugars. And that gives us the sugar to ferment. The brewing process starts with a mash. And the mash is essentially uh, a big porridge. Our mill is in the other room. We crush the malt, mix it in with hot water. Uh, we have a, a vessel over here, which is called a mash mixer. It falls into the mash mixer. And we start taking this mash through a group of temperatures. From that point, we have to separate the sugar away from the grain husk, which is done in a vessel over here called the louder ton. The louder ton is essentially like a colander or a big sieve. It has a set of screens at the bottom that hold the grain husk in place while we rinse hot water down on top of the grain bed, separating all of our sugars away from the grain bed. When we're finished, in the kettle behind me, we have wort, and back in here, we have what's called spent grain. Spent grain is uh, great for composting. You can also make bran muffins, but I don't like bran muffins. Before this liquid becomes beer, uh, it is in fact wort. So this is basically an extraction of barley. And it's sweet. And what we need to know is how much sugar is in here because that's gonna tell us how strong our beer eventually is. So we use this station. We can actually pour this liquid in hot and we can take it out. And we're gonna put in our hydrometer which is going to float in the liquid. And the extent to which it floats in the liquid tells us what the density of the liquid is and the density of the liquid tells us how much sugar there is, and how much sugar there is tells us how much alcohol there's going to be. And be careful with these things, they're expensive. Once we have our wort, we then end up over here in the kettle. Now, in the kettle, we add the hops. The hops are what give you bitterness in beer, but also a big range of flavors and aromas. And hops are varietal like wine grapes. There are dozens of varieties, and they each give us different types of flavors. Once we're finished extracting those flavors here in the boil, the whole thing will be separated. The hops will be separated away from the wort. The wort will be sent through a heat exchanger, drop the temperature from 200 some odd degrees down to about 58 degrees Fahrenheit. And from here, it goes into the next room. After we've created the wort, uh, we still have to ferment it. The fact of the matter is that everything that goes on in that room uh, is about creating the wort. But uh, wort is what we make. It's these guys here that actually make the beer. And in fact, we kind of work for them. This is the yeast, and it looks kind of like pancake batter when it's at this point, but when we add it to chilled wort, it starts to go to work. It wakes up and starts to consume sugars, it gives off carbon dioxide, it gives off alcohol, and it gives off flavors. These processes are gonna take about, oh, five or six days on average, sometimes a little bit longer. So we drop our sugar level down, and when we're done, we have some residual sugar, but now we have alcohol, and we've gone from wort to beer.